I'm Carla Sakuya Kay. I'm a PhD student. And we're here at the allotment, a community allotment at the University of Warwick. Fresh air and to have some time, usually by myself, because I tend to come on weekends and there's no students at the weekend. Uh, and I really love it just for peace of mind and for mental health, really. Sometimes I feel like, okay, I need to go to the allotment and look at some plants, talk with them, and I'll feel better. And actually, I find that has had a huge impact on my life, but also around me. And uh, I do come here with my boyfriend, my, my husband. And because this is a community garden, we just share the whole work. You come when you want, you do what you fancy, and, and that's it. Anyways, there's some kale that has managed over winter and it's looking a bit sorry for itself. I think this is Vasilia. Oh, we've got some strawberries. Usually they, we don't have as many soft fruit because we just eat them all on the spot. So, <laughs> bay tree here reminds me of my childhood. And here there's some more flowers and the rest of the bed is actually wild flowers for pollinators. It, it has actually changed the, whole way I eat, the whole way I, I relate to other people because it's, it's a very sociable place, it's a community garden, so we end up sometimes um, having too many seedlings, so you give them around to friends. It's really interesting also with people from different countries, they'll want to grow different things and they'll grow them in different ways and for different uses. I really, really don't consider myself an activist because for me activists really have a really strong fire in themselves. And my friends are, are really activists and some of them are like, they, they sometimes put them, themselves in danger, their life in danger. That's not the language I use. The weird thing is really then when people tell me, oh, you know what really changed the way I see things was that time I came for dinner to your house and we're just having a chat, so really good friends, really just chatting and chatting and we're cooking and then I just stand up, go to the windowsill, take some basil and some rosemary and put it in the food and then keep going and like two years later my friend says, you know what, since that day when you stood up and got some herbs on the windowsill, that really made me realise the food is all around us and not necessarily just in the supermarket. Tristan Stewart has been organising some events called Disco Soups, which were just perfect because, again, it goes back to the idea that you don't want to be preaching and telling people, oh, you shouldn't waste food or, you know, be more conscious when you buy something or, yeah, with your diet, your own health. Here's, it's a fun event. Yeah, we gather food that would go to waste and some of it comes from this allotment. It wouldn't go to waste from the allotment, but it's really also to promote the idea that as an allotment, you can grow your own food. But we get food from other allotments around. It's great when people say, I'm sorry, I can't help you, I've got no waste. And we're really happy, we tell them that that's the end goal, is not to be able to do a disco soup. Really good fun. Oh, and it's called a disco soup because it's in disco. So usually you've got either a live band or we've had DJs before, um, or just a playlist going but there's music so you just end up having really long tables and people cook together and they're chatting with the person next to them and it's really interesting again advice you get people engage in a very positive way uh, the, the real challenge with this course is not finding food there's tons of food being wasted uh, so the, the real challenge is more the organization and then like cooking the soup on time and things like that but people come back uh, like whenever you see them again, they recognize it. Oh, you're from the disco soup. You know what? I made that onion soup. Or I made this. Or I made that. Uh, they happen all around the world, all around Europe mainly, I think. Uh, we'll keep doing more. And the question now is how to do it, how, how to have more of an impact. Yeah. Because a lot of times it's a fun event, but um, sharing the message is more of a challenge.